Welcome to CES. Are you excited to be in Las Vegas? Do you like my jacket? AI has been advancing at an incredible pace since. Started with perception AI. We now can understand images and words and sounds. To generative AI, we can generate images and text and sounds. And now, agentic AI. AIs that can perceive, reason, plan, and act. And then the next phase, some of which we'll talk about tonight, physical AI. AI was not just a new application with a new business opportunity, but AI, more importantly, machine learning, enabled by transformers, was going to fundamentally change how computing works. And today, computing is revolutionized in every single layer, from hand coding, instructions that run on CPUs to create software tools that humans use. We now have machine learning that creates and optimizes neural networks that processes on GPUs and creates artificial intelligence. Every single layer of the technology stack has been completely changed. An incredible transformation in just 12 years. In the future, every factory will have a digital twin. And that digital twin operates exactly like the real factory. The next example, autonomous vehicles. The AV revolution has arrived. After so many years, with Waymo's success and Tesla's success, it is very, very clear autonomous vehicles has finally arrived. Well, our offering to this industry is the three computers, the training systems to train the AIs, the simulation systems and, and, the, and the synthetic data generation systems, Omniverse and now Cosmos, and also the computer that's inside the car. Each car company might, might work with us in a different way, use one or two or three of the computers. We're working with just about every major car company around the world. And I'm super, super pleased to announce that today, Toyota and NVIDIA are going to partner together to create their next generation AVs. 100 million cars built each year, a, a billion cars, vehicles on the road all over the world, a trillion miles that are driven around the world each year. That's all going to be either highly autonomous or, you know, fully autonomous coming up. And so this is going to be a very, lar very large industry. I predict that this will likely be the first multi-trillion dollar robotics industry. Humanoid robots. My friends. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. And in fact, all of the enabling technologies that I've been talking about is going to make it possible for us in the next several years to see very rapid breakthroughs, surprising breakthroughs in, in general robotics. Now, the reason why general robotics is so important is whereas robots with tracks and wheels require special environments to accommodate them, there are three robots, three robots in the world that we can make that require no green fields. Brown field adaptation is perfect. If we, if we could possibly build these amazing robots, we could deploy them in exactly the world that we've built for ourselves. These three robots are one, Agentic robots and agentic AI because, you know, they're information workers. So long as they could accommodate uh, the computers that we have in our offices, it's going to be great. Number two, self-driving cars. And the reason for that is we spent 100 plus years building roads and cities. And then number three, human or robots. If we have the technology to solve these three, this will be the largest technology industry the world's ever seen. And so... We think that the robotics era is just around the corner. The critical capability is how to train these robots.